this is uh, sipping on some soda with Aaron Rhodes and Kirby, Kirby Stickler. Stickler. There he is. Uh, we're sponsored by the Vinyl Underground at 7th Heaven, offering new and used vinyl at 76 Truce in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, I just stopped in there today for a cool little um, in-store uh, interview and album listening with Kansas City rapper Soleil and Professor Griff from Public Enemy, who produced some of the album. That was a cool little get-together, so That's make sure cool. you... Follow uh, Vinyl Underground and 7th Heaven on social media and stuff, and go go hang out there. It's it's a cool spot. Yeah. Uh, what are you what are you what have you been up to, Kirby? How 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 have you been since our last pod? Um, I've been great actually, flourishing. <laughs> um, love struck. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> do um, do we have any important like house like apartment? updates or just oh yes what um, are, what's been i don't yeah so I feel like we talked about the the time warp previously yeah we did talk about the time warp so um the time warp turned out to be for the better um i may argue that <laughs> <laughs> um, our roles have been reversed perhaps yeah Who's our roles say? have been reversed um the you lover boys switch places and uh a few days before Halloween, I fainted and fell forward onto the corner of a windowsill and I gashed my forehead right above my left eye Yeah, and uh, it was bloody and cool. And you decided like you would write your band name on uh, our back door in the blood? Yeah, so I wrote Shallow Pulse in that blood. That is still there. Um, hopefully our landlord doesn't pop in anytime soon. Um, well, he was... I talked with him on the porch uh, after the fact, oh, yeah? and he said nothing. So, <laughs> um, so just, it, Darren, Darren's a big Shallow Pulse fan. That's good yeah, to hear. Darren fucks with the movement. He's, he's gonna, he's gonna cop the um, demo. I think since the last podcast, uh, me and Casey Roche started officially started our new band called The Weather, or just Weather actually. Um, and uh, that's going pretty well. Um, Glad to hear it. That's pretty much my life. Nice. Just doing um, that. Oh, as far as, I guess, um, well, we talked about the time warp and all th- this other weirdness, but I feel like something that has not been mentioned yet about the apartment is that it is potentially haunted to some degree. Um, uh, yes. our, our other roommate, Erica, was telling me at length the other day about her most recent ghost encounter which um, involved a small boy who has sh- who she's been seeing regularly, apparently, like somewhat regularly, apparently. Oh my god! Um, it's he- my ghost. <laughs> it's the ghost of child Kirby. Dude. <laughs> He's no, yeah. Apparently, he like ran under her bed and like has been throwing like her hangers out of her closet. It sounds and- like so. Oh um, hopefully, so- hope like she said, it's not particularly bad vibes, but. She will be doing some sort of cleansing of sorts. Burn that autumn sage. Yeah, I think she said she got some sage. So we'll keep you updated on um, the supernatural situations that um, may be happening at uh, yeah, the Warwick spot. Yeah, I just need spot. to stop haunting her from my childhood. Yeah. I just need to stop haunting her. Yeah, tell, tell Lil Kirby to cool it, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Okay, we're we're definitely rambling here. Um, so let's um get to some damn soda. Okay, uh, let's do fizz first. Um, because this was. Oh yes. Okay. We've had this one for the longest. So yes, this was something my dad picked up for me. Um, at I think he got it at the Lewisburg cider mill or like some some kind of, uh, location, um, that he was at for work. But, you know, it is the Atomic Fizz original flavor soda pop. And so um, <laughs> there is a bit more apartment stuff here. Uh, Kirby definitely, I got, he, my dad gave me two of these and Kirby I got, got drunk, drunk one drank night. drank one in the middle of the and night. And drank one, and which, you know, you can't be drinking the soda pop before the pod. No. Um, I, he's learned his lesson, I, though. I crossed, <laughs> yeah, it's a golden rule. He crossed a right. line, Kirby. Uh, no, but um, <laughs> so I went to... <laughs> I went to Casey's Soda Co. to 
buy a replacement as long uh, as well as uh, the rest of the soda lineup for today. And they, I asked uh, if they had the Atomic Fizz, and maybe it was just one flavor that they don't carry anymore. But from what the lady at the shop said, it sounds like they may not be making Atomic Fizz anymore because they didn't have any of any kind at the shop. Mm. So um, we are yet to determine the state of that company as a whole. They're not super active on social media. They haven't posted in a few months. But uh, we're going to crack this one remaining Atomic Fizz original flavor right now and Kansas give City some made. thoughts. Kansas City made. Um, uh, so, yeah. Let's it, looks like a, it looks like a light beer. Yeah, it looks like a light. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's, it's kind of a... Maybe not like a gin. Color. Yeah, it's like a, has a light brown kind of... Uh, I'm guessing this is a cola, but I it does it says original flavor soda, so it's 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 not a cola. Hmm. Yeah, this is okay. I can't really I've had it pin before. down the scent. Kirby has dr- drank one before and would be able to spoil it. I I okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. It's fucking delicious. It's it is good. I can't pin down what what kind of flavors are happening here, though. Kirby, do you want to take a reminder sip? <laughs> All right. It's like so. it feels like somewhere between a ginger ale and like some sort of weird root beer or cola, like so, like you know. It, I can't. T- it uh. It's a little bit lemony. It's a little bit vanilla y. It's tough to place. I want to. I want to. I want to pin it as a tame squirt, but it could. It could easily be a uh, a tan cola. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a between a light. Co- yes. Mm. I don't know. I'm per- I'm kind of perplexed here. I am. My my taste power is only goes so far, and yeah, my taste and it's, it's is not even ice. particularly complex as it is just tip of my tongue, unique. Just hard to pin down. I guess that's uh, I guess that's a good thing. Sure. Oh, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. I want to say it's citrus so bad, but it just it just. Oh, I see. I see where you're coming a, from. It reminds me. I would call. There's it a, a little vanilla. There's a little citrus. I would there's call a, it a little cola. Okay, th- I think that. No, look, look, Casey. Let's get your opinion here. Let's get a third. Yep. <sighs> Guest opinion from a, Casey. A Rush. blonde cola seems to be the most apt. Um, verbiage. Not verbiage. I don't know words. Um, what are, what are we thinking, Casey? Go some words. It's like a it's like a blonde cola. <laughs> I mean, a light blonde cola. Yeah. What, what kind of flavors do you f- feel happening? Like it, it it is there is a cola taste. There is a hint of vanilla. A hint of vanilla, and maybe a bit of citrus. But we're not a bit sure. Bit of citrus, like almost juicy on the apple side. Like yeah. a slight hint of that. But cidery, not there is no. I would yeah. I would mm. say little. I am picking up like on the aftertaste a little bit of like somewhere between apple and orange. Basically, it's fire. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 essentially it's, 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 it's heat. Positive. So we're a fan of the atomic fizz, as confounding as it may be. And we uh, and yeah, we might. Yeah, I think we're gonna. Honestly, that one night where I picked that up out of the fridge, yeah, what was how how was, was it like, for for drunk Kirby? Yo, I needed it. I needed it. You gave him some life. And uh, yeah, and then I didn't drink all of it. And the next day, um, I woke up, and just just to give you an idea of the color, I was like, did I piss in a bottle <laughs> last night? I wouldn't say that's quite piss colored no but but at the time i was like did i piss in a bottle last (laughs) night yo Uh, rep this shit this shit is good dude casey says rep this shit and i'm about it it's not shit it hits (laughs) what is it though 
if any, if anyone knows the secret recipe and can clue us in, uh, please hit us up. I like I like blonde as like the elegance word for it. Yeah, like it's blonde is the elegance word. That, Shout out Frank Ocean. Okay. Um. Well, I guess with that, we will move to our regularly scheduled uh three sodas, uh, which we each have one of. So. Uh, where are we going with? I'll line them up real quick. First, we have a uh, uh, a reoccurring brand, I guess, Stone Cold Jones. Uh, last time we talked about his root beer, and no, it was the Bronco Tears White Birch. Bronco Tears White Birch. White Birch. What even? I don't even remember. We decided what it was. was a cousin of the root beer. Yeah, we decided it was a beer. Um, so yeah, uh, I think like I, I think I uh, I've we've been sitting on the soda for a week or so, and I think I bought this in celebration or maybe in anticipation of a Chiefs game um, a week or two ago. I think we had just either won the previous week or right. something like that. So I figured we owed it, and I, I saw other people in the shop getting some Stone Cold Jones too. So it seems like the brand is taking off, and I'm I'm happy to see it. I. Uh yeah, hopefully we get uh, him back soon because our defense. Oh yeah, he was it. out. We get Mahomes back this week though, so party. Uh, but we have the Stone Cold Jones Saxbarilla, which I'm assuming is uh, the Stone Cold Jones brand Sarsaparilla. Yes. Next we have um, Howdy, sweetened with pure cane sugar, famous for flavor, established 1920, Cherry Jubilee. Um, yeah, I figure we've we've done a couple black cherries, and I figure the cherry jubilee might be kind of like the lighter, fizzier cherry taste we may be looking for because we had mixed feelings about both of the uh, black cherry sodas we've tasted so far. Right, and the the, the cherry jubilee sounded right. And uh, also here we have an apple beer. Yes, alcohol free, gluten free, all natural, family owned. Um, Fifty years from soda beers. Um, we're gonna start with this one. Yeah, that's here. Because I'm most I'm most curious about this. No, one. yeah, I I saw that the the Casey Sotico had a surprisingly, I mean not it, it wasn't huge, but surprisingly large selection of apple beers, and I'm like I don't believe I've ever had a straight apple beer, so we'll see if it's cidery for the season. This or, could this uh, could be perfect for the season. It's 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 a beautiful autumn day today, so. I think this is prime apple beer weather. Popping tops. Like it's my job. Pay me for this. Thank you, sir. Let's uh let's have a sip about it. I'm a fan. I think I'm a big fan. I think it's the apple soda that the ever elusive apple flavored soda that the world has always been elused by. <laughs> elused. We're 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 making new words here today, folks. Um yeah, no, you this is great. It has something the the kind of the kick that a like a perfectly kind of uh tart apple would have while still um while not lacking the kind of um refreshing like it's not like so tart that it's like too like a sh- a too sugary thing but it's like it still has the kind of thirst quenching kind of lower end to it as well it has the heavier qualities of like a root beer almost so like not not in the sense of like i don't think anyone could, would consider this a beer beer but like a root beer type beverage guess third party opinion casey Rose. Um, yeah, I you, bet my friend Alex would really dig this, and people that are on his level would really dig this. What's his level? His level is he doesn't drink, but he loves drinks, and <laughs> especially drinks like this, yeah. which I'm about to taste. Craft beverages. And I dig to yeah. the top. I give, it, I give it a 10 out of Ooh, 10. Ooh, an immediate 10. This should be stocked in bars for my friends that don't drink. That I still. Be I agree. Like you know, I I feel like it's a nice thing to. This have is the the beverage the are the the sipping on some soda, 
a non-drinker beverage of choice, yeah. I think. This is backed heavily. So if, so if any shop owners or bar owners or anyone in the industry yeah, is listening, sponsor. we're a big fan and we will uh, patronize your establishment most likely if you are carrying the soda beers, apple beer variety. And I can say personally that everybody agrees. Everybody, at least in Kansas City. Yes. That shit needs to be a dive bar. Yeah. 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 Have, you, have be, you guys come across any bars that do have in locally that do have like good non-alcoholic options? No. No. Everybody's just doing Lacroix. Yeah, just Lacroix. Lacroix. Fucking lame, dude. Yeah. You're you're paying like nearly soda price for a far inferior, less tasty beverage, and I just you don't get, get it. Like you get yeah, you might. You're going to like some bar where you want to get a sprite. Yeah. yeah, I'll get like a Coke, but like that's not a fun time for me. That's just me having a Coke, and I can do that anywhere. So I'm saying, I'm saying, oh, and like sometimes I'm even just tempted to like ask for like just a can, one of the Red Bull cans that they're using for like whatever. Oh, I drink. will. Like sometimes I'll slam I'm, a Red Bull just to stay awake. Like yeah, but that's not anywhere that I think a. A fun evening should should no, a fun evening out should go. Not. So, uh, this app, yeah, everybody we're has about fun it. over here. So we're big on the soda beers, yeah. apple beer, and apple beer. Highly recommend. Fucking dope. Fucking fuego. Right, so I guess we'll rock. See what's up on that cherry, bro? Cherry yeah, Jubilee. We're doing we the go. Howdy Cherry Jubilee up next. Cherry Jubilee. No, yeah, I can't. You can't. I feel like branding wise. Howdy, great, great name. Uh, and the Cherry Jubilee is a Howdy is an exciting. Uh, now, where is this manufactured? Okay, it's with pure cane sugar, as Kirby highlighted. Um, um, bottled and under the authority of Orca Beverages in Mukiltio? Mukiltio, Washington. Mukiltio. <laughs> it's just, I've never heard of that town. <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll see. We'll have to see what Cherry Washington's Jubilee. all about, folks. Wow! Oh, that's cherry. That's okay. yeah. That is like biting the uh, cherry that comes on your Sunday flavor. <laughs> that's um. It's, it's it's all it's very it's very could well qualify as overwhelming, but if you are, but it's still pretty chill for what it is like no yeah I expected it's like a way more it, of a smack it, it, in the yeah face. it it like skirts it like tiptoes the line of like overwhelmingly cherry while you, not fully crossing it you buy one of these yeah That's no this I'm is saying. not a you, sixer this you is buy not one of these you buy yeah one of those on this is this, straight this is maraschino like cherry juice Sunday carbonate once a month yeah, this is your like special you have this after work after or, like, Easter church late evening treat as you like watch a movie or something. This this it, is it tastes like it literally tastes like a cherry starburst. Not even a cherry something. Yeah, this is like your like basically a Shirley Temple minus some of the sprite. Is that yeah, it's yeah. essentially it's essentially carbonated grenadine. Yeah. Which is not like to my surprise, it is still not horrible. Drink. It's like, yeah, no, it's drinkable. Like I will finish, but my, it's fucking carbonated bottle here. But yeah, this couldn't be a regular thing. But like sometimes, it's some, still a soda though. Yeah, some of these sodas that we tried though is like, um, this was like not good enough to be a regular, like an irregular thing. But this one is like good, but it also could just not be a regular thing. You have to love cherry though. Yeah. You gotta really fuck with cherry as a flavor, and I do. Yeah, but yeah, like we back cherry. Um, but I mean, yeah, you gotta love cherry to be to be drinking this. Yeah. I back it as just like one. Yeah. So I don't know. We've had treat for sure. We've had a couple wins here so far. I'm pretty. Happy with how things we are got rolling, a, we and got a if, pretty stacked if the first uh, Stone Cold Jones variety we tried was any indication, I think we're gonna have a third winner on dun, our hands dun, as well. Dun, dun.
Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. Truth be told, I don't know what a sarsaparilla is. Never Nor do had I. One. As we discussed during our white birch tasting, we do not know what any of these flavors are really supposed to be. Casey, do you have any insight into what a sarsaparilla is? It's a funky ass plant. Uh, do we want to pop the Stone Cold Jones? Do we have yep. any f- final thoughts on the Howdy Cherry Jubilee? I think we covered howdy, all of our bases there. Howdy right back at you. The <laughs> same. This box goes though. Oh, yeah, Casey Sotico, we back you. We're Get in we're touch fans. with us. No, yeah, I would have I would have reminded them that we had uh, patronized them for the podcast before, but I think it was like a different person working there, so I don't I didn't feel we like explaining get, it we all again. Get tight with them. Yeah, they gotta gotta hold me up with the Sotico. All right, Saxbarilla. Saxbarilla. No expectations. Stone Cold Jones. All hope. Uh, yeah, this is another root beer adjacent beverage. Um, this it, it. I mean, I don't. I you know, off the top of my head, I can't fully remember what words we w- would have used with the Bronco Tears White Birch, but this definitely is a different um, profile than the White Birch. Do you know what it is? No. It tastes like. It tastes like a weak root beer with a licorice aftertone. Okay. I, Is that a word? Aftertone? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No, it, you know, the base is in root beer. I'm sure a similar source. Um, but yeah, it does have a, a sweet, like a slightly sweeter aftertaste and kind of like under, yeah, aftertone. I don't know. Sarsaparilla. Yeah. It said sarsaparilla, but it's spelled sarsaparilla. Interesting. That's interesting. What, what do we, what do we got? Um, What's Wikipedia say? So Wikipedia says sarsaparilla <laughs> is a soft drink originally made from plants like the Smilax ornata, but now sometimes made with artificial flavors. In most Southeast Asian countries, it is known as sarsi, and there's a sarsi brand. It is similar to root beer. Um, okay. Uh, it was popular in the United States in the 19th century, according to advertisements for patent medicines of the period. It was considered to be a remedy for skin and blood problems. Ruth Tobias notes that it evokes images of languid bells and parched cowboys. Oh man, I a type of I remedy. often feel like a parched cowboy. I so. often feel like a languished bell. <laughs> um. You know, some you, you hop off your horse some days. You're just you're you're hurting for a a nice bev, and yeah. I think the sax brill a long day of cruising for that. a bruising. Dude, I'm constantly cruising for a bruising <laughs> without cease. <laughs> what is this flavor? Wait, let me keep, let me tell keep me, tell me you don't tell me you don't feel that licorice bit. I mean it, it it's got it's got what a, do you say, like a like a black licorice is that what you're you're thinking uh, Yeah, a black licorice. No, I I more on the very beer, rarely so. eat a black licorice. I've only on very few occasions have I had black you, licorice. You won't catch me eating it. No, yeah. But no, uh, I, catch that me sounds like a very that, it seems like a very apt uh comparison. I will drink for that. <laughs> it smells like that, too. It's not. It's more on the classy root beer side of shit like not on some a and w shit yeah it's no it's a classic this is, this is a fine a fine beverage fine dining. yes fine dining. fine dining um yeah no and i like just even like i doubt like it would make any difference to me if i went to the store and like had to pick between the white birch and this one like I, I think the white birch are I, they I think that I rem- similar to you? No, uh, I think I remember the white birch being like a little bit lighter and this being a little bit heavier but also sweeter. But um, like I like it's not like I have a huge preference between the two, but they are both very tasty, and I kind I do salute um, the Stone Cold Jones brand for oh, yeah. being able to no, we- differentiate um, these these very similar flavors, but. Um, maintain a high level 
of uh, quality while doing so. You know, we we back Stone Cold Jones's soda endeavors. It is the the brand we is do. very strong, very strong. Bronco Tears, I'm sold. That was off the bat. Wait, no, and I'll I'll be adding to my my bottle collection too. I still have the white tears, the, the Bronco, <laughs> the white tears. The Bronco Tears White Birch brand. Oh, maybe maybe that was in, uh, intentional to some extent. <laughs> um, but I'll, I'll say this though, I would buy a six of of White Birch Bronco Tears. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't buy a six of Sar- Sarsaparilla. Okay, Barilla. so you're not you're not you're not feeling this quite as heavy. I mean, no, it's got that licoricey aftertaste, and Isn't that bothers you. I guess I'm I guess I'm seated at. A difficult position with that. That's fair. Um, did you did you have have you had a negative experience with licorice or? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So one time I vomited <laughs> it up. Okay. Okay. That makes more sense. Um, it was like I was a youth. Yeah. Going off once having having a night. Yeah. Um. Out of the, all the sodas we've tasted, what are your guys' tops? Top two out of mm. all technically four. Um, oh, should we should we do a quick top two of what we have here, and then do a top maybe three of all of the ones that we've ever tasted? Oh, so uh, I'm gonna forget some probably. But we can we I can think, we can highlight real it. I think the apple beer and the sarsaparilla are have been my favorites on this episode. I would gladly. Drink those any day of the week. Apple beer and Atomic Fizz are my highlights, and the the Cherry Jubilee is will like I think would be you know the, no the, negative the on the Cherry sip. Jubilee. No, yeah, it's not. I don't knock it. Casey backs but my notion. I, don't, I, of, I wasn't feeling the Atomic Fizz quite as strongly as you two. I don't think. I think like that's important. The fact that it's like hovering in between like several flavors at once, like may detract a bit from like. Like, I'm kind of, like, just, like, pick a flavor or two and, like, hone it in. But, like, I feel like it may be kind of trying to do too much for the sake of originality. With such a vague description, or no description, actually, do you yeah. think you would feel different if it was if it was maybe I mean, marketed as a blonde cola? I mean... Uh, Does I that mean, make vanilla Coke maybe a blonde cola? Maybe on some, cola? like, like percentile difference maybe but like on as far as drinkability goes i don't think that it that would have much sway um which isn't to say it's it's a bad beverage which it is by no means but um i don't see myself returning to it really um i see myself returning i I, I see no like situation yeah no the apple beer is on some like sobriety shit yeah no, there there are like for you know the, there are situations, um, mo- some more specific right. than others for than for some of these drinks. Which uh, yeah. cherry jubilee, I would drink a, on an occasion. Dessert of candy soda. Me maybe waking up in the morning and thinking to myself, "Fuck, I need something that tastes exactly like cherries." Do you have a lot of days like that? Um. Anyways, I'm trying to. Get, <laughs> I'm trying to get away from like m- sodas before noon. Like I, I don't do it all the time, but there are times and I do feel bad about it. Sometimes this morning I had like a fucking. Sometimes I need something. I had the Arizona energy herbal tonic thing like a oh, little before yeah. noon, but I, f- I feel like that wasn't too outrageous. No, so that's a great beverage. That seems. That seems reasonable. I feel like and did I, did and I Arizona you, before noon is is in. Did, in, did, did in I put bounds. you on to the the herbal tonic? I feel like I, I've I, never. It's like you know, it has the kind of the yellowish bottle and yeah. The, yeah. I've never drank one. Oh, those are good. Shout out to the Arizona Beverage Company. Um, keeping it real, one dollar at all times. A lifesaver. Sometimes they got the two for one at Walgreens. It's great. Uh, um. But yeah, do do we have any uh, closing thoughts on this week's sodas or other um, important notes? Um, I 
No. No? Uh, Shallow Pulse album soon. Weather album soon. Um, shout out to KC. Much love. Shout out to... Or whoever is out there. But yes, this soda rules. And you guys should all get it. And everybody should have it. It's awesome. Um, Positive feedback. Positive feedback. We love the soda. We love, and we're we love gonna this, uh, keep we're, we're gonna, gonna keep tasting to it so that you can listen to us taste it. Exactly. Yeah. Because that's what I you, you are there. listening for. Yeah. Um. As always, feel free to send us uh, suggestions, recommendations on uh, some future sodas for us to try. Um. If you've had any of these sodas, maybe we'll let us know what you thought of them. If you have any kind of notes on the flavors we have tried today. Uh, we'd love to hear it. Um, and yeah, follow at Shuttlecock Mag on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, shuttlecockmusic.com for the articles. Um, shuttlecockmag.bigcartel.com for merch. This this is the end, my friend. Okay. Right. Anti flag. And for you, my friend, peace.